hello students welcome back to my channel so today we are going to uh, study the poem on killing a tree by gift patel from the book beehive class 9 so okay on killing a tree so now from the topic itself you know you uh, must uh, come to know that the poem is about on killing a tree but that doesn't mean that the you know you might be thinking that how a poet or a poem you know teach us to you know, kill a tree as it is one of the essential part of a uh, living being but uh, through this uh, you know poetry um, through this poem, uh, the poet ironically conveys, eh? ironically, irony, it is a, a figure of a speech, eh? which is, uh, which uh, in which a witty language is used to convey um, insult or especially, you know, saying one thing but implying the opposite. Uh, but the meaning is different eh? um, implying the opposite. So we may also call it uh, sarcasm or the satire. Alright, so, uh, you know, uh, he ironically conveys a message uh, that we should not cut trees. Uh, he says that trees are living beings just like us, eh? just like human beings or any other form of a life. So, uh, throughout the poem, uh, the poet has described various effective steps to completely kill or destroy a tree. And uh, you might ask as how he trying to stop the killing of a tree. But yes, he is truly, uh, uh, you know, trying to stop the killing of a trees by sensitizing people towards the importance of trees in our life by the effective use of, uh, you know, irony in the poem. Now, let's see. On killing a tree, you must have observed people cutting down trees. Eh? You, you must have seen people cutting down the trees or sometimes, you know, you yourself, uh, you know, might have uh, cut down the trees. But can they kill a tree? But the question is, can they uh, kill a tree? Unale the tree like completely manu saksha bande Is it easy to do so? Eh? Do you think that it is easy to kill a tree? Let's read the poem and find out what the poet says on killing a tree. Eh? Now let's read out the uh, read out this poem and let's find out what the Gave Patel says on killing a tree. Now the first stanza. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it, uh, feeding upon the crust, observing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous height, sprouting leaves. So, uh, you know, in the first stanza, uh, the poet says that a simple cut does not destroy a tree. Eh? A simple cut or a simple jab of a knife not, uh, you know, destroy a tree. It takes a very long uh, time to kill a tree. So, a sudden rough blow of a knife will do nothing to the tree. Eh? It is not, you know, possible to kill a tree. Because, why? Because it has grown up strong by consuming the earth. Eh? Earth years and years some of us are or co nutrition zero eh? observe cutters then it has grown up uh, to a to be a very strong so it grows up and rises from a crust of the earth they eh? you also uh, uh, feeding upon its crust when you go it you know trees comes out of the earth crust observing years of sunlight eh? air water and out of its leprous height sprouting leaves so like a baby eh? just so as uh, when we take a birth you know when a baby take a birth uh, then he needs a uh, nutrition eh? he, ne he needs to eat a nutritious uh, you know uh, food eh? uh, to uh, become a grown-up eh? so Similarly, the tree also needs a nutrition, say, and sunlight, air, and water. So it is a very, uh, you know, a long process. Years of sunlight, air, water, 
and uh, you know from its discolor and uneven bark the branches and the leaves come out eh? so when uh, you know uh, after uh, observing the years of sunlight air water eh? uh, out of the leprosite sprouting leaves eh? Vistari, Vistari leaves are on the jancha you know, till the hard uh, you know the bark baraji leaves are on the jancha so it is a very long process okay so okay so hack and chop but this alone won't do it so hack and chop but this alone won't do it not so much pain will do it the bleeding bark will heal and from the close to the ground will rise curled green twigs miniature bugs which if unchecked will expand again to a former size so now Yes, in the second stanza, the poet says that the cutting of a tree roughly by striking heavy blows and chopping won't do anything to the enormous giant tree. Right? It will not feel any pain. pain. And, uh, you know, its bleeding bark will heal very soon. Eh? When we cut down the trees, eh? the uh, my amulet trees like chop, the uh, liquids will come out eh? uh, in the form of a water or sometimes a eh? white color so liquid also. So that is a bleeding. Eh? Just the amulet bleeds if we, you know, got wounded. Eh? So similarly, the trees will also uh, bleed. Eh? But, uh, so if we cut, you know, uh, but uh, its bleeding bark will heal very soon. If we cut the bottom of the tree, that is from the close to the ground, right? Eh? If we cut the trees like this, eh? from the bottom, my bottom barakate vanija ki uncha. Curl green twigs will start growing, right? Eh? Uh, the curl then. Uh, if we cut it from the bottom of the tree also, then the curl green twigs will start growing with the mini branches. Green twigs are on the And uh, if, uh, if they are unchecked, they will expand again to their normal size. If it is unchecked, then the other leaves will come eh? and then branches. And again, it will grow into a big normal or a formal size as they used to be earlier. All right. So, so now, uh, know the root. No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out. So, or pulled out entirely out of the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed, the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth now you know now how to kill a tree totally eh? so in the beginning of the, the third stanza you says the you utter the poet utters the word no eh? so why no because just a small uh, cut with a knife or a chop or with an axe will not harm a grown-up tree so now he sarcastically, eh, ironically explained the steps to kill a tree to the readers. Okay, so he ironically says that killing that for killing a tree. You know, firstly, what we have to do, the roots have to be pulled out. Eh? The roots like eh, this like baira, eh? uh, it needs to be pulled out from the earth. Eh? You can see the roots of a tree. So as though your roots like eh, it needs to be pulled out totally so entirely eh? or tied up with the rope eh? we need to you know tied up the tree with the rope eh? then uh, then chopped into a pieces eh? uh, once it is uprooted then we have to tied up with the rope and we have to cut them into a pieces eh? and once the tree is separated from the earth cave eh? once this root is separated from the earth cave eh? when the roots which is white and wet which is the most sensitive and the hidden part of the tree it is exposed out then the tree loses its strength eh? so when we pulled out entirely you know um, from the earth eh? earth which is uh, act as a mother eh? uh, so we need to uh, you know take it out entirely eh, from the earth and then uh, you know once uh, we are able to separate it from the earth uh, you know well, when, um, when its roots which is white and wet uh, which is the most sensitive part of, part of the tree then uh, 
uh, is exposed out then the true tree loses its strength so when we able to pull out the uh, tree entirely out of the earth crust eh, then uh, the tree will lose its strength now Then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, weathering and then um, it is done. So finally, okay, in the last stanza, when we pulled out the tree completely out of the, you know, earth crust, uh, then it is finally done. So in the last stanza, the poet says that once the tree has been uprooted, it gradually withers, eh? Uh, queen dai jancha, dry to dai jancha, eh? And then, yes, dries up due to the sun and the wind. Eh? Sun, wind, got the kiri, the isidi, dried, bohira janchari, sukchari. It turns into a brownish color, hardens up, twists, and finally shade off its skin. Eh? Ra isidi, sappa isko skin or sappa jari ra janchari. Eh? Uh, different weather conditions. And then the process is over so the finally the process of killing a tree is over now that the tree is killed completely and nothing is left so you know in short we can say that uh, the poet uh, gave patel described the cruelty of man right uh, to kill a tree is such a uh, you know a long process eh? it's like cut it up we, when we chop out the branches eh? it will again come out eh? when we cut it from the bottom again you know the twigs will come out and if we if it is unchecked again it will grow up into a, a bigger size a eh? formal size so we need to um, uproot it eh? totally uproot it from the earth crust and then uh, the finally uh, we will be able to kill a tree so uh, it gradually with you know uh, then uh, it shows the cruelty of a man right killing destroying uh, the tree uh, with irony and conveys a message that trees are an essential and integral part of our life and so we should not cut them then he sympathizes uh, with the tree and nature is uh, you know generally so Thus, he sympathizes with the tree and nature in general as it is being destroyed day by day by selfish humans. Okay, so thank you.